My name is Scott Snellen and I'm from Brighton. My group of friends were all right until about secondary school, then it started getting a bit complicated. It started getting a bit more naughtier and that. Scott's a, a, a great example, really, of what a lot of young people face, um, you know, right across the city, but particularly in this area. There's lots of opportunities for making poor choices. I was looking out for someone when this person went to do something, and then the, uh, basically uh, the police came and I got caught. I felt very scared, very, very, very scared. I found out about kicks with all my other mates. It came to it, was a bit weary at first because I didn't exactly like like sports. When I was a younger kid, I was very like big, like fat, like fat kid. So I was always on my Xbox and that. So it wasn't much active stuff. It was always go home, go on my Xbox, go sleep, go to school, all like that. Just keep repeating it. Initially, he was quite reserved, didn't really want to get too involved, very unconfident in, in his own ability. And that's, that's changed gradually as, as he's been coming to the sessions. Everyone ready, yeah? By working with him and helping him understand the ability to make his own decisions and by building his self-confidence he, he's got to that point now where he can have a relationship with his friends but he knows when he doesn't want to be involved in something and he's making far far better choices as a result of it. I just stayed away from all this trouble, got myself knuckled down onto something I wanted to do and that was kicks. Bulldog! We've been running a programme of activity called Top Bins which helps young people explore different parts of their personality, their likes, their dislikes, um, and gives them an opportunity for leadership. Scott took to that exceptionally well, and as a result, he's, he now supports the coaches with some of the younger people. He's always the first you know, to recognise it as a new person to the group, and he recognises how that might feel for that person. So he will always make sure that they're included, they feel part of the, part of the group straight away by Scott's intervention. I'm a very lenient coach, like I've been inspired by the other coaches and then I took that on and uh, taught it to the young kids. Numbers one, two, three, four, five and six, all go! Well we had a, we had a young man that was attending that had experienced troubles with groups of, groups of children. Um, as a result it left him very nervous about walking or being anywhere on his own. So Scott, you know, just suggested to this lad that he was going that way and he would walk home with him. He didn't make a big song and dance about it. He did it in such a mature, grown-up way. He didn't look for or expect any form of recognition as a result. He was just a nice young man being nice, which is the ultimate aim. When, when I was not here at Kicks, I was not very mature. I, was, I wasn't doing, I wasn't thinking first before I did things. In the real world, world I, I wouldn't have done well without Kicks. We're immensely proud of Scott. Not only in terms of the growth as a person from where he was to where he is now, but the challenges that he's faced. And he, he's just a demonstration that regardless of the challenges of your neighbourhood, of your environment, you can make those choices. And Scott, we can, we can hold up and demonstrate that what we do really does work.